me, okay, Peter um, uh, is your name, but I've always heard you called Petty. Is Petty short for Peter? That's my nickname. Okay. And I like it because there are so many Peters in America, but there is only one Petty when I go there. Yeah, okay, only one Petty. So that's how we can separate you out. That's great. Well, I didn't know if it was short for a Peter or if it was a nickname, but that's that's perfect. Well, uh, okay. it's a short for Peter, sorry. In Hung kind of a, yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. No, that's good. That's good. Um, tell us about your your life. I mean, I know you from Facebook. You recently got married and uh, and all of that. So tell us who you are and and your life, family, all that good stuff. Okay. If I if I talk too much, you can just give me the sign. All right. Keep going. <laughs> okay. So I'm 27 years old and I got married two years ago. And in the last uh, one year and a half, we didn't live uh, just by ourselves, but also my brother moved to us. He's 13, and there was some problem, conflict between him and his mother, and uh, we had to help somehow uh, mm -hmm. with this kid. Now these things are getting better, so maybe in the next month we will be uh, only by ourselves. Okay, uh, for the like first time as a married couple by yourselves. Yeah, Okay. Uh, fresh married couples, uh, yeah. restart. And, yeah. um, well, I studied economics, I, uh, human resources, and accounting, but I was 17 when God called me to be a pastor. Mm -hmm. uh, still, I wanted to finish, uh, my, of course, my high school, and, and I felt it's important for me to have a, a degree, not just in theology, but something else as well. Good. Uh, so I finished that, and now I do my theology studies at uh, TCMI Teaching uh, Training Christians for Ministry in Austria, uh, taking intensive courses. Uh, probably two in a year. Hopefully I will uh, receive my MA in the next 50 years. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, okay. So uh, this is this is me. I'm pastoring a church in Budapest. It's the outskirts of uh, Budapest. And it's about uh, 50 members in the church now. Uh, but this summer was incredible. We did family day at the lake, at the lake at some outreach. And uh, new families start coming. Uh, I feel in some ways we are in a turning point. We have another church. We have other two churches of that church is in Hungary, one in uh, Tisztói Baros. It's a very tiny church. Uh, unfortunately, I, I should say it's a dying church. We try to help them as much as we can. Uh, I'm not sure how, how far we can go and how we can help them. And there's another church in Rakos Palota. And actually, uh, my friend is the pastor there, uh, Laszlo Debrecenik. And the two of us are great friends, and we, at a very early age, I was 60, and he was hmm, probably 21, we felt God is calling us to ministry. And there was some years we didn't talk about it, we didn't meet at all, but it's, it seems that it's coming true. And the two churches start working together, doing ministry together, sharing resources uh, uh, in order to impact with the past. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to this, 2013, we would love to launch a church downtown Budapest. It's not in a church uh, subculture way, but uh, more like uh, reaching the uh, st uh, college students, reaching the young adults, professionals in their culture. So we would probably rent out a pub on Sunday nights. The pub is closed on Sunday nights. We would like to uh, rent that out and invite uh, all the people we can we can just invite uh, the youth, the professionals, uh, the artist people there. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to know that the, the place we, we actually checked out it's um, it's the only one uh, uh, spot in Budapest where all the three metro lines uh, meet. So it's a very very busy area and it's full. It's packed with young people. Okay. And we we want to reach them. Wonderful. Uh, okay. No, that's good. Thank you. That helped me understand. I know a little bit about Hungary um, just from history and all, but um, uh, help us understand what the culture and life is. I mean, it used to be a communist country for a while, uh, for about 50 years, and uh, I believe has a lot of um, Eastern Orthodox um, uh, church life in there, but I could be wrong. So tell, tell us about the culture and, and, and the church life in the, in the country. Yes, Jim, I have to say you are wrong. Okay, uh, good. But no, I would think, yeah, I, I would be in the States, I would think it's Orthodox, but no, it's more the, the biggest church and uh, what has the most influence only in 
also in politics is the Catholic Roman Catholic Church. Okay. So that's the biggest one. Then the Reform Church comes, and then maybe the third one is the the Baptist Church. Okay. And, Catholic, and ba Catholic, Reformed, and then Baptist. Okay. I, I would say that. Oh, sorry. Maybe uh, before uh, Baptist Church is the Evangelical, the Lutheran Church. Okay. And you are very right saying that some, we have to do something with the communist past because uh, I should say uh, many people in, in the country would call themselves atheists, uh, mm -hmm. saying there is no God and we don't trust that God can do anything with our needs, any, with our problems. And it uh, impacts um, the culture greatly. Uh, what, what, I, what I think, and I could realize that... Uh, I wouldn't say that the spiritual need is low. I think it's very, very high. I mean, people look for answers for their life, not just, you know, uh, some uh, theological life, but their own life, their own situation. They're looking also in a spiritual way, but they would not look it in the church anymore. They don't trust the church. They don't trust the priests. They don't trust the pastors. They don't trust uh, the, even the evangelical people. But they look for more like the um, whoa uh, esoteric things. Okay. Such like yeah. Uh, I hope I, this is the English word esoteric. Okay. I, I think so. Yes, I'm I'm with you. And uh, all these other spiritual things. And uh, uh, one thing to do with this that they 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 find that the church is not really dealing with their issues, and uh, that's one thing. And the other thing is that people think uh, that everything is relative. So they don't trust anybody who would say that's the truth. That's the only truth. Uh, so they are they are not really open uh, to anybody who, who would say that. 